Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today we are cooking breakfast and we are cooking French toast and breakfast sausages. Nice, simple, easy breakfast. French toast and turkey sausages. And for my eggs, of course I have my old faithful Publix grade and medium eggs. I've got my uh, Jones Dairy all natural turkey sausage patties. I have my artisano bread over here. I love uh, using this bread to fix French toast. It's not that thick of a bread, but it does have a thickness to it. It's thick enough. I love the artisano bread. It is so good. Um, I have some cinnamon, some badia cinnamon. And I have my regular Publix powdered sugar. Gotta have the powdered sugar to put over your French toast. Simple ingredients, guys. Simple ingredients. French toast and breakfast sausages. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, I'm back and I am ready to go ahead and get my uh, French toast ready. I've already got my egg scrambled. I already got my egg scrambled in my bowl here. This is how I like to do it. I like to get a nice plate that's got some edges. Got my bread ready. Just gonna flip the bread around in the eggs just like that. Make sure all my sides are getting coated, all those edges are getting nice, and uh, egg all over them. Get another one, and I just toss them around. I've got my pan over here already nice and hot, ready for my French toast. So y'all see how I did that simple, easy, just toss them around in the eggs. Let's go over here to the stove because that frying pan is nice and ready. Let me you guys in. It is ready for the French toast. So let me go ahead and bring our French toast over. I can fit two in here. Let them have their space. And I already had my pan sprayed with my old faithful public canola oil. I already had it sprayed with that. Alright. French toast. Simple and easy guys. Simple and easy. Now uh, I used to add the cinnamon to my egg uh, mix. But I stopped doing that because the cinnamon would just float to the top and all the French toast, everybody wouldn't get cinnamon. So now I add it at the end. I'll show you guys how I do that. <clears throat> all right. French toast does not take long to cook. All right. Nice. But I do want my French toast to get a little bit brown. I'm gonna take you guys in. I do want my French toast to get a little bit browner than that. I'm gonna go ahead and let that other side cook. Let that get real brown. I like for my uh, French toast to have that nice golden brown on the outside. It looks really pretty with the powdered sugar and the cinnamon. So you guys will see that. French toast does not take long. I mean, I can cook a batch of French toast in like 10 minutes. It does not take long at all. Yeah, see. That's the brown I want right there. That's the brown I want. Quick and easy. See, I fixed that. I cooked that French toast in like, what, a minute? Only took like two minutes. One minute on one side, flipped it over one minute on the other side. That's it. That's all. So I'm going to go ahead, guys. I've got the sausages in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. Um, I've got the uh, French toast cooking up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop two more. Let you guys see that. All right. Yeah, that's what I want. Get my stove turned down a little bit. It's just eggs. You don't need high heat. Look at that French toast. Look at that French toast. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Look, look at that. Just golden 
brown goodness. Uh-huh. Yep. Delicious. Let me bring y'all back out. We go ahead and get it out. And I'm going to drop two more. Hold on. Let me bring y'all out some more. Okay. Let me get this out. Because I do not want to burn my French toast. Okay, get my pan sprayed here. Got to move fast with this because your pan is nice and hot. Over here getting my bread all nice and tossed in the eggs. Yes. I'm telling you, I can cook a batch of French toast so quick and easy. I love about French toast. It's so easy. So quick and easy, quick and easy. All right, we're gonna let those fry up. Let me get in the stove and get this sausage out. I did find some, some um, breakfast links, so I cooked those too. So you guys see the patties over here, those breakfast patties. Looking good, and I found some links. I already took them out of the oven. The links cook a little faster than the patties. Oh, yeah. Quick, easy breakfast. Quick, easy breakfast. This will be done. I'll be finished with breakfast in about 15 minutes. Quick and easy. And it's good to have a non stick pan, too. That's good too. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the um all the French toast cooked up. We've got our sausage out already. I cooked this so fast. I don't know if this minute this video gonna be five minutes. <laughs> but anyway, uh alright. Let me finish up the French toast and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm gonna make the French toast all pretty. I'll be back. Okay guys, I've got all my French toast cooked up. As you can see, our breakfast sausages and links, our patties, everything is all done, you guys see. Oh yes. Let me take y'all in before I add the powdered sugar and the cinnamon. Look at all that goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Cooked all this French toast in like 10 minutes. Sausages were done in like 10 minutes in the oven. 350 degrees. Quick and easy, delicious breakfast so all right got my powdered sugar ready don't want to do too much remember don't do too much word of the day don't do too much don't do too much now sometimes we can just do too much sit down somewhere stop doing so much hey y'all know what that means don't do too much child don't do too much so i like putting my powdered sugar on with a fork i'll show you guys I like using the fork. I just sit a little bit on top and I just kind of shake it. And see, the powdered sugar, it shifts through the holes of the fork. It just shifts through the holes. And it falls just, just like I need it to do. Falls just like I need it to. Alright, let me get a little bit more on my fork. Don't want to do too much. Alright. And you just kind of let it shift through the holes of the fork. Pour a little bit off. Yep. All you want it to do. Fall nice and pretty for you. Just put a little bit on your fork. A little bit on your fork like that. Just a little bit on your fork like that. And just drop it across the top of your French toast like that. Look at that. Get a little bit more over here. Yeah. You want that, you want that powdered sugar on there now. You want it on there. Oh yeah. We're gonna put it on there. Alright, that ain't doing too much, y'all. That's doing just enough. That ain't doing too much. So, alright, so. We got our powdered sugar on, looking delicious. 
Yes. Let me bring y'all in. We really got to see how we're going to do this. All right. So we got our powdered sugar on nice. Okay. So let me get our cinnamon. Got our cinnamon right here. Got our cinnamon right here. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Just going to sprinkle it on. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take y'all in so y'all can see the powdered sugar and the cinnamon. I mean, the cinnamon is brown. I mean, it's about the same color as the French toast, but y'all see it. Bring y'all over a little bit so y'all can see how that powdered sugar, there it is, how the powdered sugar and the cinnamon, it looks so pretty on the French toast. Come on, camera. Gorgeous. See how that looks, that brown sugar and powdered sugar? The, I mean, the brown cinnamon and the powdered sugar together, it looks so pretty on the French toast. All right, guys, y'all seen me do it. So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.